The Hinam Center in the Arab village of Abu Ghosh, outside of Jerusalem, gathers Jews, Muslims, and Christians to study together and take part in different kinds of educational, social, and cultural activities. And this year, they hold a series of special events dedicated to the holy month of Ramadan. We are very pleased to be joined via Zoom by the director of the Hinam Center, Yaron Kenner, and one of his students, Nita Natur, who is also a Muslim activist as well as nurse. Welcome, and uh, first tell us about the center and the, the social inclusiveness that uh, goes on. Sure. Inam Center is an organization who try to promote social tolerance in Israel. Uh, we uh, bring together all the uh, sectors in Israel, all the tribes, uh, Muslims, Arab Muslims, uh, uh, settlers, Jews, Orthodox, uh, ultra-Orthodox, seculars, uh, Ethiopian, and so on. And we believe that if you uh, get to know the other for real, and spend uh, enough time with him, uh, you will develop a, a sense of uh, humanity to him. And um, that's what we are doing here in Abu Ghosh. We have a Bet Midrash, it's a place of learning that people uh, through and around the learning get to know the other. Nita, tell us uh, what you've learned, uh, similarities between uh, the Muslim and the Jewish faith and practices. Actually, I believe that the two religions are too close one to another, one to other. Uh, but uh, I'm so curious also to check with uh, Dr. Nelly Levy, if there are any differences and to compare it with the Islam. We discussed it in the morning and we found that there is uh, some differences and some uh, similar uh, things, but uh, today we'll know. Uh, Ramadan, of course, is a special month in the Muslim calendar, but I imagine you've learned a lot about the uh, the shared benefits of both the Jewish uh, religion and culture as well as Muslim through through Ramadan. Tell us more. Yeah, I think, you know, religion can go both ways. And uh, this is our answer to what's happened in Jerusalem right now in both days. Because, uh, you know, the Ramadan can separate people, but also can bring them together to think about... Uh, our, our shared tradition. So we believe that if you do it right, if you just speak one with each other, with another, uh, sit together, eat together, learning about the other, yeah. it's share, share uh, our traditions, our culture, our religion. So uh, it can be totally different. Mm -hmm. I agree with the Yaron in this uh, point. I think we... Sometimes we have to separate from the religion and uh, that political issue, but uh, sometimes you have to respect and uh, the respectful thing uh, begins when you uh, know about the others and uh, share with him, talk with uh, the others and uh, respect the uh, the beliefs and the attitude and the aspect of this topic and this is a good opportunity that can you speak talk and uh, share your beliefs with others and uh, maybe it could be helpful yeah nita what has uh, the reaction been from your family and friends you know after hearing you're taking part in this i imagine many want to, to learn some of what you're learning Honestly, all my, my family members and my friends encourage me to participate in uh, this unique program because this is a, a, a good time or a good uh, opportunity to come and to speak and to represent your uh, uh, religion and uh, to be face to face, like uh, not to deal with or to struggle with political issue, just to to deal with something else that can uh, close the gaps between the two religions, it could be helpful. Everyone encourage me to participate in such a program. Thank you both so much for joining us and Ramadan Karim.